welcome to Tips December. If you haven't seen my previous two tips where I talk about uh, setting powders and luminous setting powders, then I'll link them down below. But today we're going to talk about highlighting on very, very pale skin. Now, probably you have seen everywhere the where girls are, or guys, are highlighting their uh, under eye area in a very, very dramatic V zone, V shape, and then their forehead on the bridge of their nose. And usually they're using the, not even the palest uh, concealer that's available, and they can still get that kind of very, very brightened look. But if you're very pale, then the concealer is already your shade. I mean, all the lightest concealers that you can think of, it's already your shade. Therefore, it is kind of hard to achieve that look. Now, there are several tricks that I use if I want to recreate that uh, luminosity. One being using white foundation or white concealer. Now, I highly doubt it that there is someone out there that has their skin white. I mean, even deceased people don't have uh, their skin white. I mean, true white. So, um, and also using a um, very pale yellow uh, concealer. Anyways, the first one that I like to use is the MAC Full Coverage Foundation in white. Now this is, as it says, full coverage. You can achieve a clown look with this, therefore it is completely covering. Now, the way that I would use this is by first layering either your uh, light corrector or your concealer and then dabbing this on top of it. Now, you don't want to go straight for this because it might make your under eye area at least look very chalky and very slightly unhealthy if you wish. So, I would layer it on top of your concealer in order to lighten the shade of the concealer while still retaining a human tone to it because white is not a human tone. Um, and same goes like if you want to do the T-zone or in the uh, highest point of your cheeks, then you would apply this on top of your foundation. And it works pretty well. Now, don't overdo it because you might end up looking ridiculous. So. That's one tip. Uh, another one, like if you aren't extremely pale and depending on your undertone, would be to use a very, very pale yellow. Now, this is from the MAC uh, Pro Conceal and Correct Palette in Light. And this is, in particular, is the pale yellow. Now, I think you might be able to get this pale yellow on its own if you go to a pro store. I'm not sure about it. But again, it is... Um, Let's say that it has a slight human tone to it. So you can get away by using only this one under eyes if you really don't have any uh, discoloration problems. But I would prefer this, for example, to highlight your uh, eyebrows or in the T-zone, but not necessarily under eyes. And finally, from a more affordable palette, or at least I think it's more affordable, is the Dermacolor Camouflage in Fair. And the shade up here, which is D0, and the shade D406, these two shades are great for highlighting. Now, these two can be used anywhere on the face. They can be used under eyes and they can be used on the T-zone. They have, again, a paler yellow undertone that really brightens the skin. They don't appear yellow in any way. Uh, the final trick that I would use is... Sorry. Muffy, thank you. Um, the final trick that I would use is perhaps adding a bit of a bronzer. Now, if you want that dramatic... Uh, highlight under your eyes, I would use slightly some bronzer against your concealer. I would blend it very well to the point that you can't really tell the difference, but so that there would be a contrast between the concealer shade and the bronzer so that it's not like 
The concealer shade is pretty much the same shade as your skin, therefore it wouldn't brighten it up. Anyways, I hope this tip was useful and if you've used it and you liked it, let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye!